Right, you know, unless um, we expression language tutorials, we touch on introduction to expression language, we cover the data type conversion using expression language, uh, expression language subject list function. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna touch on Boolean logic operators. So if you haven't done so, go to the repository and download the repo. It, you have a step-by-step -step on how you can view the videos with explanation uh, and download the templates. So you can walk through and do it in the same time with me. All right, so with no further ado, let's jump into it. First thing you wanna do, you wanna upload the templates onto your instance. After you've done that, you wanna drag the template button on the canvas and choose the Boolean, NIFI expression Boolean logical operators. Once we download it, we push it on the canvas. We're going to jump into the uh, processor group and it has the same structure. We generate some flows with some attributes into it, and then we run the expression language. We then merge all the outcomes of those uh, functions and then we expose it so we can have it into a single file. All right, so what are the Boolean logic operators? So, this is one of the most powerful features of the expression language is the ability to compare attribute values against another value or another attribute. This is very often used, for example, to configure how a processor should route data in this case. Um, the following function that we're gonna demonstrate are used to perform Boolean logic, such as comparing two values. Each of these functions is designed to work on values of type Boolean. So let's see what are the values that we provide in this uh, Example. So we have three values that we're going to use. We have an empty value. We have an integer value, which is an integer, number 10, and a string value, as you can see it here. So these are the three. Let's run it once and see the attributes exposed to our flow file. So we, we can see we have an empty value, which is empty, integer value 10 and uh, string value set to inside by cool now let's jump into this update attribute processor in here we have a, bu a bunch of functions so we have end equals equals ignore case greater or equal greater than if l statement is empty is null less or equal less than not not new and or statement so let's say how do we apply the end boolean operator open this uh, window here uh, the return type of this uh, function it's boolean and it has a condition so if we see here we have uh, if i were to translate this we take the string value which is inside by and we change it to lowercase. Once we change it to lowercase, we ask another question. Is it equal to this string inside by? So that's a value. So that's gonna be evaluated with true. Now we link this function with a column and we add the end, uh, we add the end term basically here. And then we follow it up with another function evaluation. Is the string value length greater or equal to five. If this is true and the other is true, then this, this will return a true value. Cool. So now let's go to equals. So the equal expression language function and is very widely used. Uh, and it's used to determine if it's subject, it's equal to another string value. The equal function performs a direct comparison between the two string values. If you think about it, it requires an input. So the function, we can't have it like this. We have to have a value to it. So we say the integer value, which we, you remember we set it to 10, does it equal to 10? So this one will return me the value true or false if it's not set to 10. Now let's go to 
equals ignore case. Basically, this equal ignore case, this, this function, it's similar to equals, but it, like the name implies, it will ignore uh, any uppercase or lowercase. Basically, um, it will compare the string value of the incoming attribute with an existing string here. So you remember our uh, initial string value was with uppercase i and uppercase b. But if in this case, he won't care. He will compare them um, against it. So if this, is, this, is, this will return us a true equals to this uh, inside byte lowercase hole because we say equals ignore case. Now let's move to greater or equal to. So that's what g g so that's what g stands for. So we have an integer value as the attributes that we're trying to compare. So we say is the integer value integer value greater or equal to eleven? So this will return me uh, the value true. Also another thing we have to be able to have a number here. Otherwise, this will not work. It will return me a value of false if the value will cannot be changed. And here, greater than. So this, this is a single operation where it's like if the integer incoming value is greater than 1, then here we return true. Next, we're going to see if else statement. Let's open this, this box and maximize. So the if else statement returns true or false. Basically, what we do here, we ask, is the null file name equal to inside byte? If true, then he will return a true. I would say, uh, I would say is true. If false, it will return is false. So this is a string that you add. So the first position returns a true. So the first position is the true evaluation. So you can add anything you want here. And the second position will be a false evaluation. So that's how the if else works. Now, let's go to it's empty. So the is empty function returns true if the subject is null. No, does not contain any characters or contain only white spaces. New line, carries return, space, tab. It doesn't require any argument and the return type it's boolean. So if empty value is empty then he will return to. Otherwise it will return me a false value. Let's move to it's null. Basically it talks for itself. If the incoming attribute value is null then this one will return me a value of true. If it's not null, we'll return a value of false. Less or equal to. So uh, basically this function will evaluate if the incoming value is less or equal to the value we're comparing, which we provide to the function. So it's used for normally, it's used for numeric comparison. If it's less or equal to one, then we will return the value of true. If it's not, then he will return the value of false. Lower than. This function, in you, again, it's used for numeric comparison and returns true if the subject is less than its argument. If the argument is less than the integer value, the incoming integer value, then we get a true. If it's not, we get a false. Next, we're going to look at not function. Basically, if we discard this uh, part of the function here, we can see that the integer value that we provided is 10, and we are asking the system, is it equal to 10? And it's going to return us a true value. If we want to override that, we pretty much going to say not. The not function returns the negation of a Boolean value as the outcome of, uh, of our function, of the previous function. It doesn't require any argument, and it returns a value of Boolean not null. As the name says, it will evaluate if the incoming value of the attribute is null or not. It will return a value of true or false and it does not have any arguments. Let's go and see how the OR function works. So we, we talked about uh, end, which in the case of end, both, both sides of the evaluation, they have to match. 
In the case of OR, only one side of the um, evaluation should be sufficient for us to get it true. So if in this case, if my incoming string value to lower equals to inside byte, which is true, or the string value length is greater than 50, it is false. This will return me a value of true. Cool, so now we cover all the Boolean logic functions. Let's apply this and let's leave, let one flow in. Actually, let me empty this queue, there's two of them. Basically, we're gonna start this uh, two processors and run this once, and now let's review the payload. Basically, this returns me the evaluation of those functions that we talked about. So uh, we can see that they pretty much match everything that we talked about. So the or, the and, the if else is false, uh, the equals ignore case. So this kind of validates what um, the Boolean logic expression language outcome is. This covers the Boolean logical uh, expression language operators.